Today we're unboxing Norton 360. This video is not sponsored by Norton and all opinions expressed are purely my own. I'm Caleb Fortune with Trust Radius and this first look will evaluate Norton 360 by its pricing, compatibility, installation, user interface, resources, support, and reviews. To start out, what is Norton 360. What is Norton 360? The Norton products, including Norton 360, Norton Antivirus, and Norton Security, are consumer antivirus and privacy protection products and are now a product line of Norton LifeLock, formerly Symantec, after the Enterprise Security Division of Symantec was acquired it's now and is now a part of Broadcom. Okay, jumping in for pricing. Deluxe, Select, Advantage, and Ultimate Plus. So it looks like Deluxe is at an annual rate, but the rest of them have monthly as well. Deluxe is $50 for the first year. That's at 52% off. I don't know if that's just like the annual discount or what the deal is there, but uh, $99 for Select, $191 for Advantage, $191.88 if you want to be super accurate, and $299.88 for Ultimate Plus. And it says for first year, so I'm assuming it jumps to the actual rate for subsequent years. Looking at what they include, it looks like you just get more VPN additions and storage with the larger plans. Oh, some more ID theft protection features on the larger plans. Okay, good to know. Now let's see if we can't do a free trial. So looking at compatibility, you have Windows, pretty much Windows 11, 10, 8, 7. Yeah, most people that are using relevant systems should be good. Uh, Mac, the current and previous two versions of Mac OS, so that sounds like more recent development. Um, features not supported though on Mac are Norton Cloud Backup, Norton Parental Control, and Norton Safe Cam. It works on Android systems. Uh, Android 8.0 or later, must have Google Play app installed. Obviously not supporting Norton Cloud Backup, Norton Parental Control, and Norton Safe Cam. iOS operating systems are iPhones or iPads running current and previous two versions of Apple iOS. So it sounds like there must be some kind of change on their side or on Norton's side to make it more compatible. Moving to Towards installation. This is one of the first ones unboxings I've done where I've actually had to physically install something. So it feels like more of a true unboxing. I don't know why 3.7 MB is taking this long. I have insane internet speed. So this definitely is a result of their server side. Ooh, okay. This is prettier than I remember. I feel like I've used Norton antivirus, you know, back in the day where like everyone realized they needed antivirus. What does this box behind you? Did they like not know how to make a transparent PNG on this? Like for this image sequence. It's like pixely and a weird box behind it, dude. What? Like the image is cool. Like it's like, oh yeah, we're trying to be like updated. Not your dad's antivirus, except for handling PNG files. Okay. Don't you love when applications, it's a download to get to another download? There's no way that PNG is accurate to the speed at which it is downloading. That's probably fairly standard, but I can be a little salty. Hey, look at this circle knows what's up or it just has the proper background. <laughs> this is your product right now. You gotta make sure your product aligns with your branding because it's lowercase and yeah. At least they give you a lesson in security through nice graphics while it's installing. This device is protected. Well, thank you for telling me that in a pretty graphic that has a proper background. Let's set up the features. Welcome to my Norton. Oh, thank you. Now you can enjoy easy access to all the great features included in your Norton subscription. Uh, show me. Yeah, let's walk through this. Scan options, performance, and coverage. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All the features are there. Norton accounts up here. Resources down the middle. Okay. And the left side is just a big image that we want you to look at. Okay. Non helpful. <laughs> Understood. Secure VPN. Um, should I do like a quick scan? I will say, okay, looking at UI, like, yes, it looks pretty. Things are easy to get to. I don't know why you needed to take up so much real estate just for this hiker. Like, maybe it could have been the hiker, like, further down the hill from what you just installed, but you made me look at it for a fairly large amount of time while doing installation and download. I don't know that I need to continue looking at this hiker. Like I'm on a computer, clearly I'm using this application. I don't need to feel jealous of someone who's active and not sitting at a desk at the moment. Maybe I'm being overly critical. I don't know. I'm, I get kind of picky when it comes to aesthetic items. Okay, we're at like 4,000 items being scanned so far. Cool, 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 cool. No threats found. I know what I'm doing with computers despite all the random stuff I got to download to do these videos. Lack of viruses, I really feel up in some peace in my heart. Dark web monitoring looks like that's probably just like an active monitoring system and it'll give me alert if something that it pulled from my information and computer is 
in danger, I guess. Um, we have 50 gigs available for backup. What's that setup look like? So we can do specific files. We can do specific locations. We can set a schedule for it. Oh, cool. So we can just say like backup all my pictures, backup all my music, financial files. So we have secure VPN. What's that look like? Oh, so just, ooh. That's pretty cool. My data is protected on this network. They let you know that it's a bad site if something pops up. All right, good to know. I am not gonna enable all the extensions. That sounds like I'm opening myself up for chaos. Let's set up password manager. Ooh, parental controls, you need to, I'm on Deluxe, you would have to add the family account, apparently. We can ignore pretty much these bottom three, which is kind of annoying. Product tour, launch tour, which we already kind of did the product tour. What to see when you first launch. Oh, sweet. You can hit classic. Now we, let's kill it real quick. Boom. Now we got the classic Norton. It's got a lot going on, you know? That's pretty much it for the user interface. I do like that you can bring up this thing and like look at the classic view. Looking at resources, there's zero resources within the application, which is very disappointing. So when we're thinking resources, we're thinking like training, like how do I do blank and blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So this is where we can get some information, but I mean, so it looks like it actually got solved. Um, okay, looking at support, they push that. I didn't look at the blog, but I'm guessing a lot of these trending topics are there, like Norton, Windows issues, subscription issues, download, interesting. So none of this is product specific. This is all just trying to be a thought leader on like online security and privacy. Okay. That's a little frustrating. What do they do on YouTube? Do you do support videos or just ads? Opt-in cybersecurity. Okay, so these are high level, like what are these type of things? None of this is helpful resources. Um, I don't think they have helpful resources is what I'm starting to gather. Do you, like y'all don't have like training materials. Okay, you have a free trial and you have the community. So basically you're saying ask someone else. <laughs> uh, moving towards support. All right, how do I get in contact with someone then? Well, we got our chat bubble, let's see what it does. And let's do help with an error, because we want to know technical support. Man, they're making it really hard for me to talk to someone. I'm sure I can probably just click past these right and get to a human. Contact us, ha <laughs> ha! Oh, all right, so we got chat support and phone support. Category, 360 Deluxe, okay. I'm looking to test the human support response time for Norton 360. I will be timing this from the moment I click next. Is this going to open me to a chat or is this going to send an email? Because this looks like it's just going to send an over glorified email. I say wait time is one minute. Let's see. Do you guys hold up to that one minute? Oh, Bob Neat. Is he going to make me repeat information? Or is he going to read the message and understand context? No, thank you. Just testing the human response time for Norton 360. Um, which was like within a minute and a half, two minutes. They made me jump through a lot of hoops, I will say. It was quite difficult to get into the just trying to actually talk to support. I'm sure there's probably quicker ways to do it, but for someone frustrated, gotten stuff going on, you know, like their heads feel tense and they're frustrated about something, uh, you know, your brain breaks and making it more difficult is not a good practice for the consumer. That needs to get simplified. Why I like, I don't know why there's this new trend to just hide behind content that A, doesn't exist. Like content does not exist here for the most part and not in an easy accessible way beyond the chat. Like that was the easiest way to find things. They need to work on that. Their resource center is not tailored for someone having issues. Sorry, I'm gonna have to head out. Bob Neat, I got more review to do. Yeah, that does it for support. That's kind of interesting. It's like they're trying to rely on resources that they don't make readily available for people outside of if they're looking for support. And it's like, I look at them as two separate things and we evaluate them as two separate things. It's like, if I want to learn how to use something better, I want resources for that. I don't want to only have to learn to use something better when I'm failing at using it in the first place. Let's go back to our reviews real quick. All right, so I believe it's Norton on here, meaning Norton 360. Um, the Norton LifeLock and like whole partnership thing kind of, or I guess acquisition, I think is muddy did a little bit. Um, TR score is 7.6 out of 10. Uh, we have overwhelmingly positive reviews. We have 13 positive, one negative. So that's good to see. Um, let's see, actually, let's, can we click on that one negative? I mean, so we know overall it's a lot of positive reviews. Here's our one negative review, it looks like. Um, Central console, easy deployment, reasonably priced. Uses more resources than similar products. That's very interesting. Um, can create problems with backup systems if not configured properly. Admin console is buggy at times. I could understand that, they're very 
concerned about pushing that picture there. Limited recording capabilities. A firewall can be difficult to disable, you know, and that's kind of the wave of things. Microsoft, I believe, is also making it quite difficult to like fully disable firewalls now. This was a pretty quick one today to go through and run down our final scorings of these things. Let's look at pricing. Really, pricing looks fairly standard. It's on a yearly rate. It's really not that much, especially if you break it down to monthly. It's not that bad under any context. Um, I'm curious to see what the enterprise accounts could look like, especially now with more of a remote world and VPN access needing to be more of a, a standard essentially for different companies. Whereas before, I think you could kind of get away with not having VPNs. But overall, we're gonna give pricing a thumbs up. Uh, compatibility, it's available across Android, Windows, Mac, iOS. Yeah, it's pretty dang compatible. I would love to see more integrations. I would love to see more, I guess, more like just advanced controls. But overall, we are gonna give compatibility a thumbs up. Looking at installation, it took forever. <laughs> um, and that was not on my system side. My system is running at a good speed. Uh, that was definitely had to have been a server limitation in terms of limiting download speeds. And then installation itself also took a while. Either tell us what you're doing while you're doing your installation, because that will, you know, you can justify a four hour installation if you're telling us this is what it's doing. This is why it's taking forever. We're implementing ourselves into this level of the security of your system and okaying admin control. Uh, this is why it's taking forever. <laughs> um, also that stupid little circle with a background on it that was not configured properly by whoever, whoever designed the, uh, the interface on that. Um, yeah, so installation, I'm gonna give a thumbs down. I'm just gonna go ahead and boldly give it a thumbs down. That took way longer than it should have. User interface, we can give it a thumbs up. You have like a couple of different view options. Obviously, I wish there was more functionality to it, more like advanced controls to it, but when it comes down to aesthetic and control, it's great. Figure out that picture, dude. You should not have a picture taking up half of the screen on an application. Um, at that point, it could be run from tray. It doesn't need to be a standalone application. Looking at resources, easily a thumbs down. I could not find almost anything. The blogs are not support blogs. They are trying to be knowledge-based blogs, which, okay. Um, not very helpful from like a wanting to look for training materials perspective, wanting to see maybe there are advanced controls, maybe there are ways to use Norton more advanced that I just don't know about, but Norton's definitely not being the thought leader on their own product, that's for sure. Okay, so for support, I've been torn on this one really hard because Dabney was very fast once I, you know, sent my initial request in finally, but the hurdles to get there, if you are dealing with a cyber threat concern, if you are dealing with anything of the sort, if you're just dealing with account issues, you should not have to jump through so many hoops just to get through to someone, to talk to someone. Um, I'm going to give support a thumbs down for that reason. That was very frustrating. Um, and if you are actually a frustrated customer going through that, it would be extremely frustrating. Looking at reviews, we will give them an overall thumbs up. All of them were overwhelmingly positive. There was only that one negative on trust radius. I come to a couple of other websites and it was similar sentiments. I mean, Norton's been around for a long time. Granted, it's not the same Norton, not your dad's Norton, as I would say, but it is uh, still, you know, a staple application when it comes to antivirus software. That is it. So we are overall, we are at three thumbs down, four thumbs up. All right, with that, our final conclusion, uh, we're gonna narrowly give Norton 360 an overall thumbs up. Yeah, it really felt like they worked for it there. Um, one one wrong turn really could have spun that one out of control for me. Definitely got hairy at the end of that review. But if you are looking for antivirus software, Norton's definitely something to consider. Honestly, like the more we get into mobile security, that is an area where I'm honestly surprised it's not more of a commonplace thing for people to carry antivirus on their phones. Um, phones are extremely vulnerable um, for all of your sensitive information. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe for more and head over to TrustRadius.com for detailed reviews, comparisons, and software alternatives.